What's next for the solid house construction? The shell has now been completed. In the first part, earthworks and floor slabs were carried out. In part 2, the masonry and in part 3, the roof. Now the first interior work continues. Windows, and the electrical installation. The window frame must first be prepared for window installation. First step, put the window connection tape. The sealing tape ensures that the window frames are airtight with the masonry and that no water penetrates from the outside to the inside. A decompression sealing tape is placed on the outside of the window frame. The tape expands after assembly and closes the spaces between the window frame and the masonry. The window frame is aligned with spacers. Everything has to be exactly in balance, otherwise malfunctions could occur, windows close unintentionally, jam or do not close properly. The distance to the edge of the wall must also be correct. After all, all windows should be in alignment and the window sills must also fit. If everything is correct, the screw holes are made and the frame is screwed to the masonry. Now, hang in the casement. And screw on the handle. Once this is done, it continues on the outside. Another sealing tape. The water slots, through which condensate runs out of the window, are fitted with caps. Looks better and the water drainage works even on windy days. Meanwhile, inside, the fitter ensures that the windows are sealed. All gaps are filled with assembly foam and the sealing tapes are glued with permanently elastic adhesive. In this way, tightness is maintained even when there is moving in the masonry. The windows have high thermal insulation and high sound insulation, guaranteed by six chamber profiles and triple glazing. A roller shutter belongs to every window. Here is the electrical version. Does the blind run and close properly? The fitters can test this with a mobile control device. Everything is great. Now only the window sills are missing. The construction company has a large selection of window sills. The builders chose natural stone Jura marble. Outside, however, grey granite. To ensure that the water can run off, the window sill is not placed exactly horizontally on the outside, but slightly sloping at an angle of 5 degrees. The first window is finished. Only 14 more are missing. Another two on the right, five on the front, two on the left, and five on the back. The installation is always the same and runs exactly like the first window. After two days all windows are installed. This went quickly and also pleased the client. 
bin wirklich froh, dass es schon so weit ist. I am glad that it is already so far. We also love the windows. Also that we let them foil. In principle they are white by default. But you have the option to choose a different color and mostly it is grayscale from light to dark or brown. There is also wood decor. So a lot is possible here. But of course taste is individual. We chose this color. Set an accent and we like that very much. The front door is also inside, albeit with makeshift filling. But the house is now even lockable. You get more and more used to the fact that it's our house. You get a key now. The little piece of reality that you hold in your hands. You already feel comfortable in your home. So, home, I mean. But you feel like it's there. The goal is getting closer and closer. Next phase, the electrical installation. The builders can contribute their individual wishes to the electrical installation. Therefore, there is a detailed discussion with the master electrician before the installation. Where exactly should which connections go? For mm -hmm. For living and dining, two lamps where you want to have placed them. Living would be here and eating in the kitchen, the dining table would be there, so a lamp would be omitted here. So only one lamp above, in the middle. In the middle of the room. Yes. There is a lot to consider and clarify when it comes to electrical planning. How many sockets do you need per room and where exactly should they be placed? Should the light be switched from different places? And much more. Should there be a switch here? If you go out to the terrace, you can turn off the light. Or when you come in at night, to turn them on again. Yes. The electrician notes everything in the floor plan and also marks the approximate position for switches and sockets on the walls. On to the next room. Until everyone is through. The whole meeting lasted more than three hours. Important, as a builder, you should think carefully about what you want. I can really recommend everyone who is planning to build a house, sit down beforehand, make drawings, room by room, pack your ideas in and then start talking. Then you are best prepared and you can always go into detail. The planning is now being implemented. It starts in the bedroom upstairs. First, draw the position of the flush mounted boxes and cable slots. According to the electrical planning, here in the bedroom, right next to the door, there is a thermostat switch for controlling the heating, a roller blind switch, a light switch and a socket. So there must be four recesses in the wall. Raw electrical installation means flush mounted boxes and cables. The rest, switches and socket inserts come after the plastering. The electrician is now laying the cable duct with the wall milling machine. Two saw blades attached parallel to each other cut slots approximately. 2 cm deep into the masonry. The rest in between, just hammer out. At the top get a hole for the ceiling lamp cable and the cable duct is ready. The electrician can now set the flush mounted boxes. First of all, only as a test whether they also fit. He needs plaster to fix it. The switches, sockets and thermostat inserts are standardized and all fit in the same flush mounted boxes. Very convenient.
At the end, check the alignment. Otherwise the switches will hang crooked later. Everything is great. The boxes are in place. The plaster must harden for about an hour. Now it's time to pull the cable. The electrician starts the line for the skylight. The ceiling lamp is switched in the classic way with a switch next to the door. So the cable must be in the flush mounted box for the light switch. The standard cable for domestic installation is the so-called NIM J3 by 1.5 cable A3 core cable with a cable cross section of 1.5 square millimeters each. Typical for lamps, sockets, etc. However, stronger consumers such as washing machines or electric cookers need thicker cables. The next cable connects the light switch and socket. And the cable for the socket runs out of the room, towards the distribution box. The electricity comes into the room via this cable, showing the complete electrical wiring would go far beyond the scope here. Basically, the house installation works as follows and is the same for every room. The distribution box is the heart of the electrical installation. Here the electricity is provided for the entire house. The electricity comes from the distribution box into the room via a supply line. From the first electrical consumer, here the socket, the electricity is passed on to the next consumer, the ceiling light. Here, however, the light switch is still in between. The sockets are also connected cable by cable, until all consumers are connected to the circuit. One circuit per room, means one line per room from the distribution box. Special cases are strong consumers such as a washing machine, get their own circuit. Back to the raw installation. The electrician works his way to the next wall. The cables are simply laid on the floor and later disappear in the screed. He connects socket, or here double socket, to socket. It continues at the door. Thermostat switch wiring. The thermostat switch regulates the valve position in the heating circuit distributor for the respective room. A 5-core cable is required for the incoming and outgoing signals. The NIM J5X 1.5 is used. Again a 1.5 square millimeters cable cross section per wire. The cable also runs out of the room, towards the hallway, where the heating circuit distributor will be later. The cable is labeled so that the fitter can see through it later. RT, room thermostat. Sleeping room. The blind switch wiring is still missing. Special feature here, the building owners have also opted for a central control system for all roller blinds per floor. The switch for this is in the hallway. Therefore a cable comes towards the hallway. A second then goes to the roller shutter. With such an installation, each window has its own blind switch in the room as usual. In addition, there is the central switch that sends an up or down command to all blind switches at the same time. Fix the cables with clips and then the part is finished. This is how it continues in all rooms, hallway, children's room, bathroom. A lid was placed on the flush mounted boxes, that no plaster runs in. It is interesting to mention that there are multimedia sockets in all living rooms. Antenna signals, radio and television, as well as internet and telephone can be transmitted via the green double cable. All cables are also laid on the ground floor, living room, guest toilet and kitchen with many extra circuits for oven. 
dishwasher, electric stove and other. In total, more than one kilometer of cables were laid in the house and almost 200 flush boxes were installed. Construction time raw electrical installation, one week. <laughs>